Today we're going to work on this defiant lock. Here's the key. Defiance Home Depot's brand of KW1 quick set standard house lock. Uh, we're going to open it a little bit differently. We're not going to pick it. Uh, we're going to open it with this little tool here. Looks a lot like a blank key. Here's a standard blank key. See, cut key, blank key. Now our tool is a blank key cut like this with foil, tin foil wrapped around it. The tin foil uh, covers up these holes so that it looks more like a blank key. The idea is that when you insert into the lock and wiggle it, the keys or the pins will cut into that tin foil and stop cutting into it at the correct depth because of the binding. Uh, they'll stop binding when they get to the right depth and won't dig into your key anymore. So that's what we got. To insert this tool, we have cut this little groove in the back so that we can stick this thing in. This is just a harder piece of metal, harder than tin foil anyway, uh, that I put right there and it helps me guide the tool in without messing up our tin foil. Bam. Okay, now all we do is apply tension like uh, we're turning the key and wiggle up and down. And you apply tension, wiggle up and down. This could take a few minutes to do. The reason this method would be preferred, there it is open, over picking is because once I get the key lock turned, it acts just like a regular key. I can turn it multiple times instead of picking it because if you go to a lot of storefronts you have to pick it two or three times, spin the lock around two or three times before the lock will open. Um, so this works better for that and also if I use this tool properly I should be able to insert this thing again remove my tool Pull this out, and you should be able to measure the indentions in your foil, if I can get a good focus, and decode a key. But it doesn't look like I did too good of a job removing it. Looks like I messed up down there a little bit. But anyway, it's possible to decode a key from this method if you're lucky enough to be able to remove your tool without damaging your foil. It's not easy to do. But there it is. Uh, some, if you're really careful and don't damage your foil, 
you could possibly insert it again and open the lock. Fingers crossed. Uh, probably won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because I have nothing better to do. Hey, what do you know? It still works. It's got a little catch there that it didn't have before. Uh, I broke through some of the foil somewhere. But anyway, that's foil impressioning. It's a pretty cool technique. Now, it won't work on all locks, on all pin tumblers. Sometimes the bidding on the key will be too extreme. If it's got a lot of high-low bits, the probability of it working is slimmer. If it's got high bits on the ends and low bits in the middle, it's got a tougher chance of working on that, too. Oh, key's falling apart. Anyway, thanks for watching.